Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. This is The Art of Prepping. Just doing a, a, a look and a, also a, a, trying to answer a question of what's the deal on these, uh, these so-called uh, tactical uh, bracelets, these survival bracelets, uh, 550 type bracelets, these uh, paracord bracelets, these wrist armor uh, devices. Uh, what's, what's the deal with these? Um, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people buy these pre-made and some people like myself uh, actually make them yourself and they're not hard to make at all. There's uh, probably at least a, a dozen or two different types of knots that you can use to make these, if not more. Um, you're only limited to color combinations that are available in the cording. Um, some people don't even use parachute cord. Um, some people use uh, a variety of other different types of materials. And, um, <clears throat> you know, and, and that basically could be anything from nylon to polyester cording to... Uh, even hemp, um, it could be leather. But for this particular um, situation that we're looking at, uh, these examples, uh, we're, we're looking at uh, parachute cord, also known as 550 Type 3. These are military spec uh, parachute cord, also known as paracord. And uh, these are all U.S. made types of cording out of New York. And um, we have like this one here is this uh, desert camouflage. And, uh, and then, of course, just a variety of colors that we'll look at here in a moment. But uh, the cool thing about these when you make them yourself is that um, you can make them to fit perfectly to your wrist. And um, something that you can't really find is all the sizes when you buy them commercially. They're typically a 9-inch bracelet. Um, and that's just typically what you get. Uh, you might be able to find a small, which is considered like around 7 inches. But for some people, that's still too big. Or, you know, maybe you're in the middle. So um, it's just best overall to uh, make your own. Now, as you can see here, um, you know, this is just a standard cobra uh, weave uh, or cobra knot that's just repeated over and over. Uh, this one is um, uh, just basically a, uh, a cobra knot that's, uh, you know, used twice. It's just doubled over. So, uh, so those are cool. And um, so we have different colors. Um, this one here, I just put a piece of parachute cord in the middle uh, and brought it down. And as you can tell on some of these here, and we'll go to the next example, that uh, you can have various ways to fasten these uh, as a closure. Like this one here, for example, is, um, is going to have just a knot and a loop. And what you can do is... You simply can just take the knot and slip it over, uh, uh, you know, the loop, uh, take it off of the knot. And as you can see, it's just friction formed. This one uses a reflective 550 cord. Sorry about the light. Just trying to get this right. It's kind of early in the morning, so sun's a little funky right now. So you can do two tones, like there's a color underneath and then this reflective cord. Uh, or you can go to a solid color, like this one here. Uh, this is reflective uh, olive drab. And uh, sometimes I like, you know, solid colors. Sometimes I like two tones. And this one uses a uh, buckle clasp. I believe this is going to be a, uh, a mocha color. They have different names. The coffee color looks very similar. So that... There's a there's other types of uh, connectors too. You know, there's there's a whole host of them. In fact, some of them have whistles and ferrocium rods on them, and some of them are made of metal or steel, and they can be used as flint strikers, and in the whole medley. So, just wanted to talk about these and you know what the hype was, and I think in the nutshell is just they're they're cool. They could be a fad, but I think that uh, the fad has kind of run so long now that I think it's more than a fad. I think it's just part of the culture of survivalist preppers and maybe even bushcrafters, uh, that this is just a symbol to those who know about these and that, li that lifestyle, that um, it's an option. You know, it's something that um, kind of, that they just kind of integrated into their kit. Not only do you get cording to help build shelters, to have a tourniquet, to have tinder, but people embed things inside here, fishing hooks, sinkers, 
uh, ferrocium rods, um, water purification tablets, all kinds of things. Like I said before, sometimes even the, the buckles have whistles and fire stri strikers, and uh, sometimes they put a, a button compass sewn into there. Lots of things you can do with this. And so uh, obviously on Amazon and other sites, you can kind of get a medley of an idea of what is uh, incorporated in some of these. Sometimes they do keychain fobs that they call like, uh, you know, paracord grenades, which they basically just wrap a big, you know, you know, wad of kit with paracord and put a carabiner. And so you can, you can, you know, transport and carry it easier. So these are just options. You can make them yourself for quite cheap. And I would recommend that over buying them. But uh, if you just wanted to get your first one, there's nothing wrong with buying the first one, looking at it, seeing how you want to make yours. And then from there on out, just buy your own parachute cord. I think a good source to buy parachute cord would be uh, campingsurvival.com. Campingsurvival.com uh, is a good resource. Uh, so thanks for watching again and uh, have a great day.